Hello, I'm Jonathan. And I'm Sam. And this is Progression in Progress. And we live. What's up? How you doing? Hello. Good. How about you? I'm alive. I'm doing good. Yeah. I'm doing pretty yes, well sir. myself. So today we are going to be talking about habits. Um, yes, sir. So habits, I feel like everyone has habits, whether whether you even know it or not. I think most people have things that they do every day, um, kind of habitually. That's the word. Um, but I think not a lot of people consciously have or make or do habits that can help better them for for their life or just in general um so i'm kind of in that boat of i feel like i do things pretty similar sim yeah i can't even talk similarly is that a word similarly Similar, I, no i can't say it <laughs> oh man so I think I feel like I do things uh, the same in a similar days. manner. In a similar manner, there we go. That's a good workaround. Um, I feel like I do, yeah, similar things each day, but I don't really feel like I've had too many, too many habits that I've really like tried to be like, okay, I want to do this or I want to accomplish this, and so I'm going to start doing this every single day because it's it's beneficial to me. Um, have you, do you have anything kind of like that? Um, I do have some habits. Um, luckily they're mostly good habits. Um, yeah, I'm pretty in my morning routine and like in the morning, I'm pretty habitual. I kind of do the same thing every single morning and get my day started, uh, every single morning. And I've had some experience in the past trying out different habits and different routines and stuff like that. So I have a little bit of experience. I don't think I'm a expert. Luckily, this is progression and progress. And I don't mm -hmm. know if anyone's expecting us to be experts. No. But um, I do feel like I do have a little bit of experience enough to give an opinion, um, an educated opinion. Yeah, well, let's start off with that then. So what what is your, your morning habit or routine? So yeah, so I wake up um, at 630 every morning. Wow, really? um, I've done that. I've woken up at 630 for about 10 months in a row, I think. Um, yeah. What do you I do that early? What do you need to do that early in the morning? Well, that's what I, when I lived in San Diego, that's what I did. I woke up at 630 and I have always woken up early and my family is kind of naturally early risers. I really didn't start sleeping in until like high school, like midway through high school where I actually enjoyed sleeping in. Like I'd rather get up early, but then for me, I just feel like I have so much more of a productive day when, um, when I wake up early. Now I know that doesn't theoretically, that doesn't like you have, like you don't theoretically have to wake up early to have a productive day. But personally, I feel like my days are much more productive when I do wake up early and then just get going right away doing things. Yeah. Okay. So you wake up at six thirty and, uh, what, what do you start? What do you start off your day with? So I have like a little routine in my bedroom. I um, have I first thing is I probably go to the bathroom, wake up, go to the bathroom. A lot of times I've been kind of tired when I wake up lately, even though I am going to bed and getting mostly eight hours of sleep. It's been like a slow morning or not slow mornings, but just like I'm not I haven't been popping out of bed with energy lately uh, right. like I have in the past. So normally I throw on like a song on my phone or something like that just to get me, get me going. Like I, okay, well, first off, I don't think like I am a morning person, so I can get up and like, I like can start doing my thing. I'm not like a zombie in the morning. Mm -hmm. And I don't like, I know some people get like angry if you start talking to them in the morning. Like it's <laughs> not like that with me. Yeah. Um, but like, I haven't been like popping up like 100% awake, sure. more like 75% awake. So normally I throw on a song in the morning. Um, and then I go to the bathroom. I make my bed. I'm very big on making my bed lately. Um, I read some book. I think I think that a lot of people have read from that one Marine about making your bed. And it's kind of the theory behind it is one, you just start your day off by accomplishing something um, is the theory behind that book, 
well, at least one of the things, one of the themes is you start your day off um, doing something. And I, I think that helps me just getting going. Um, and then I have a few other random things that I do in my room. And then I leave my room. And sorry, this is probably boring. I need to speed this up. Um, mm. I, I do the dishes um, to help oh. out the squad, to help mm -hmm. out the family. Um, cause I normally eat dinner earlier than everyone else. So I don't help with the dish dishes at night cause I eat dinner before everyone else. Um, so I do the dishes in the morning and then I go exercise for 30 minutes and then I stretch for like 25 minutes. I'm big on stretching. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, super key on stretching. My days are significantly better and I feel significantly better when I stretch every day. Um, what kind of exercise do you do? So it's just kind of with my exercise has always been weird for me because I've had, you know, just with my health challenges that I have, like exercise has always been like touchy, not touchy, but just like difficult for me to figure out a routine that works. Mm. Um, so right now what I'm doing is I'll probably like I exercise for 30 minutes. Um, I stretch for five minutes. I like go hard for 10 minutes and then I go for a 10 minute walk. So it's really nothing crazy, um, mm. but it's helped me. And I'm, I think I might up the time in the future, but then I, so yeah, I exercise for 30 minutes and then I, um, stretch for 20 minutes. Then I get ready for the day. I make myself a nice breakfast. I think I've eaten like a smoothie bowl, like two months in a row for breakfast. <laughs> um, so I guess that is pretty habitual. I eat a smoothie bowl and then I have class right now. I have a spring term class at 9am that I do. Thanks. And it's even though we're in quarantine and it's not in person, the teacher decided to do a live Zoom call. So I have to be ready to go at nine. Yeah. Crazy. OK, so you you have this. Uh, what do you think? When So you said you started doing this uh, kind of, I mean, part, bits and pieces a little bit differently, depending on where, where you've been living, I suppose. But mm -hmm. when when did you like start? start doing this and why did you decide to kind of start going through like was this something that you one day were like okay I need to these are the things I need to accomplish in the morning so I'm going to start doing this routine or is it kind of like you were just start doing those things and then you just kind of fell into it yeah so when I was living in San Diego we kind of had a schedule a very loose schedule of what we were supposed to do every day um, no one held you to it but it was what you were supposed to do so and there was a lot of things you were supposed to do in the morning. And I found that if I didn't like, I don't know, if you don't like for me, I found that if I just woke up and just started doing the things that I needed to do and like the things that I felt like were most important doing those first, then whatever happens in the rest of the day, you got those things done at the beginning of the day. You got those key things at the beginning of the day done. Um, so when your schedule gets wrecked for the rest of the day, you don't have to worry about fitting in those key important morning items. That was one reason that I started doing it. Um, another reason that I feel like is really big uh, that I, one thing that I've kind of learned over time um, is when you do, ha when you develop habits or you just decide you're going to do something like all the time, not all the time. And I think habits should change. I'm not saying like you have to, when you start a habit or like these habits that I have right now, I'm going to keep them forever, but just getting into a routine, right. developing some habits, it's, you make less de decisions in the day and you just start your day off by doing things or just at a certain point in your day, you just go into autopilot and start doing things. You know, I don't have to wake up every morning and decide if I'm going to exercise or decide what I'm going to, you know, when I'm going to get ready, or I have to decide when I'm going to get up. And that just kind of having that routine kind of, kind of just kind of kickstarts your day and lets you do some efficient things without having to put too much effort into it. Yeah. I think, uh, I think a lot of people, I mean, I'm, I'm especially in this boat, uh, when I have the choice or I give myself the option to do things, sometimes things don't get done. Um, so having that thing in the morning just to, okay, I'm going to do this every single day, no matter what, set aside that time uh, to get those important things out of the way so that later on, I imagine you probably also feel a little bit more uh, more free later on in the day uh, just because mm -hmm. you know you're taking care of all of your, your necessary things kind of in the morning there. Um, so that's that's really good because I know, uh, I know for me, uh, some if I have like the option of just kind of sleeping in, and uh, you know, 
and don't really have too much going on, then you know nothing nothing really get done. So that's 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 probably pretty key. Probably help a lot of people there. Just start, just have a basic morning routine and get those important things. You know, exercise, um, uh, maybe eating. It's always good. Yeah, you don't eat enough. Yeah, that's definitely something I need to work on. <laughs> Not like you have a eating disorder, but no, like you just like, are I don't too think, lazy to make breakfast. <laughs> yeah, I haven't had breakfast in years, probably. Like, I just never have time. And sometimes it's because I have work at times at like five in the morning. And, you know, I'm not, don't want to get up at four or whatever to, to just eat, which maybe I should. I could probably be a thing. Or I definitely, I like, do you have like a nighttime uh, kind of uh, habitual time you go to bed and things like that too? You do, you do have that? Or do you? Oh, do I? Yeah, I try to go to bed. So I don't know. This is I need to improve my nighttime routine because it takes too much time. Um, and I realize I don't have a lot of time at night because I like start getting ready for bed like an old man so freaking early. Mm-hmm. Um, at nine o'clock, I normally start my nighttime routine, um, which is I'll stretch again at night. Uh, I'm kind of a stretching nut. I will stretch again and then I get ready for bed. I try to write in my journal. Um, that doesn't always happen every day. Um, and then after that, I normally have a little bit of extra time after that, you know, 20, 30 minutes before I go to bed at 10 30. So I normally just watch YouTube videos or text someone or, you know, just check Twitter, which I need to probably be more efficient about because there's probably something better I could be doing with those extra 20 or 30 minutes, but that's what I normally do at night. Yeah. That's a good unwinding, uh, kind of routine there. Um, but so like, do you ever feel like, uh, like you're kind of talking about earlier, just kind of going into, into an autopilot to kind of do all these things. Do you kind of feel like that? in a way, like you're almost, um, I don't know what the word is. Maybe like, uh, it's kind of desensitized to them or like, you don't really have put like too much, like when, like when, when do you like lose, uh, like how do you stay mindful of the, of these habits that you do? How do you not be a robot? Exactly. Yeah. How do you not just be a robot and really get the most out of these, these morning routines or nighttime routines or habits? Well, I think part of the magic of habits is you do become a robot at doing them. Um, that might not be the answer that you were hoping or not hoping, but look what you're trying to get out of me. But I think being a robot kind of helps sometimes because you just get to hit these like key items. Like, you know, I feel like a lot, a lot of people could benefit from doing, you know, from exercising every single morning and just doing that habitually, like a robot is going to help, help. It helps me. It's made a huge difference in my life. Um, so I feel like just being a robot and automatically doing things, is super beneficial, even if that means sometimes you're only doing it with like, I don't know, 70% mindfulness. But I think that extra 30% mindfulness, that extra really being present and that, which is something I definitely need to work on. I definitely need to work on that. But that extra 30% of mindfulness that really makes something, I don't know what I'm trying to say. It makes, maybe you can help me. It makes, it just makes it more rewarding when you do it mindfully. That extra 30% I think comes from probably from practice because I notice in the morning, sometimes I'm just like habitually doing my exercises and I'm only putting in 70% effort. But Mm -hmm. if I really focus and try to put in that extra 30% effort to make it, you know, a good workout session instead of just a workout session. Yeah. um, I find that it is much more beneficial. For sure. Um, yeah, no, I think, um, yeah, I wasn't really looking for anything because I think also there is some benefit to just kind of going on autopilot um, because you're still like accomplishing and doing something, but then you can still like have a part of your mind kind of available to, uh, to just kind of think and reflect. Like I know I hear a lot of the time that people, um, you know, while they're doing exercise or while they're just doing their 
their everyday things, they can kind of use that time to they use that time to think, or it's like where they get like a lot of their inspiration or ideas from, um, because like they're still doing something. So they don't really feel guilty of just, you know, sitting there and just thinking or just planning or whatever. Um, and I'm sure there's also, I've heard on about, uh, you know, your body, uh, you know, releasing all those endorphins or whatever while doing all the exercise. I'm sure that probably, probably helps as well. Um, mm-hmm. yeah, but, it does. Yeah. Yeah. And it, yeah, I think it also gives me like a chance to catch up on stuff. Like I watch, uh, I feel like I'm a 80 year old man. Sometimes I watch CNBC, like the business news channel in the morning while I'm like doing the dishes. And then I listen to a planet money podcast while I'm doing going on my walk. Um, so I'm kind of an old man when it comes to that kind of stuff. And I go to bed at 1030, like an old man, but yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess we can shift the conversation a little bit to probably the more interesting part, um, of this podcast is Sam and I were talking before the podcast and Sam was like, yo, I don't have too many habits. I have a few habits, but I don't have a ton of habits. And we were going to maybe if Sam, you're still okay with this, we can discuss some habits that you might want to try out. And then six weeks from now or whenever we determine we can follow up, do a follow up episode and see what, how those habits made a difference. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, there's definitely been things I've thinking about, um, or I've thought about doing before, but never really tried. Um, so yeah, definitely want to, uh, to try some stuff out and see how it, uh, how it affects me or how it, how it plays into my my crazy, crazy life in schedule. Yeah. So what are you, what are you thinking? Like what part of the day do you want to tackle? What type of routine or hat? Cause I guess we're talking about habits and routines. Like they're the same thing, mm-hmm. which I guess they're That's not true. really. Cause like a habit is like, well, there's negative habits. There's bad habits. You know, if I, you know, every time I wake up out of wake up and check my phone, that could be a habit. And uh, kind of what I was describing was like my morning routine. Um, So I guess they're kind of interchangeable, you know, on a, like a colloquial level, but technically their definitions are different. So I guess, are there any habits or routines that you want to develop that ones that you've been thinking of trying out? Yeah. So I had one that I actually kind of did try for a little while, but I ended up not sticking with it longer for whatever reason i kind of want to get back to but um kind of uh, it's kind of similar to what you were saying so usually when i get up in the morning uh, i usually have to get up uh, pretty early as well usually anywhere depending on the day um as early as like like 4 45 or so um to i don't know to like 6 six fifteen or something and so usually when I get up, I am, and this is probably another habit I could probably get into of just actually, you know, going to bed on time or early, but usually I wake up pretty, pretty tired. Um, and so it's really easy for me just to kind of hit, hit snooze or um, just kind of play on my phone for a while. I uh, just kind of delaying, um, kind of getting out of bed and kind of getting ready for the day. Um, so actually a, a little while ago, I, I kind of demoed it for, or tried it for probably about eh, maybe a week or so where I just said, okay, like I'm not going to procrastinate, uh, getting up and getting ready. I remember and, you talking to me about that. Yeah. 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 Oh, sorry. So I, I, and I did do it for a couple of days and so, cause I'm, Unfortunately, one of my bad habits is I'm pretty habitually late uh, for things. Um, you can probably attest to that, probably even coming True. into this podcast. <laughs> um, and so, like, I, and, you know, I don't, I don't like being late or anything. So I, so I told myself, okay, I'm going to get up, get ready. And then um, instead of just delaying, like, getting ready, and then that usually leads to me being late. So, I, yeah, for about a week, I did get out, uh, get up, just 
I told myself, okay, when I get up, when the alarm goes off, no, no hitting snooze, no, you know, going on my phone, checking for updates and everything. Just, I hear the alarm, get out of bed, go get ready. And then if you have any time afterwards, then you can, you know, use that to do whatever. And I think in a way by doing that, I kind of just found out more like, uh, of how how long things kind of take because I think a lot of the time I overestimate uh, or actually I underestimate how long you know things will take whether that's like getting ready or actually like driving to work or wherever it is um, and so when I started doing that I kind of realized okay usually it actually takes me this amount of time to do xyz like getting ready or um, and then it usually takes us much time to go to work or whatever it is there. So it kind of gave me some new insights on like kind of timings of things. But then it also like it was beneficial because then I I definitely felt like especially if I did it like quicker than usual, then I just felt like I had more time and I was just a little bit less stressed. Because um, usually I would just get up and then you know, kind of procrastinate getting ready. And then I would just feel stressed because, oh, no, now I'm late for work or whatever it is. But doing that gave me a lot more time, made me feel a little bit more more free in a way. Well, um, and it does give you a bit more time too. Well, I think I saw you talking about that made me saw, I saw this Twitter headline of an article today and I can't tell if, I, I didn't click on it and this is, getting into a bigger problem of headlines and stuff like that. But it was like, a, it might've been satire. It might've been like sarcastic, trying to be funny, but the headline was like, not worth it. Crazy bloggers, morning routine and habits is worse than being depressed or something like that. What? Like, I'm pretty sure it was satire, but I'm not sure because I didn't click it. But it was just trying to say like, oh, these crazy habits are such hard work. The, the message was these crazy, these crazy habits, these eating habits, these morning routines, these exercise habits are so hard that you might as well just be depressed. And I'm fairly confident it was satire. But I think there's a message, a moral of the story that they were trying to get, a, get across, or at least what I took out of it is that doing stuff like what you're talking about, getting up and just going and not procrastinating is hard. You know, it's not the easy thing to do. The easy thing to do is, you know, what you were doing before when you weren't doing that experiment. But really the most beneficial thing for one, how you're going to feel and two, how successful you're going to be in that task, in my opinion, you know, you're going to probably be on time and get ready faster um, more of the time than than you would not having that routine, not having mm -hmm. that habit. And, yeah. But the thing is that it's harder. It's harder to just pop up out of bed and just do your thing. You know, the natural, the natural man in us, the, the, you know, we want to lay in bed and hit snooze and check our phone, but it's more rewarding. Uh, I'm pretty confident it will feel better, you know, and it's just worth it, even though it's harder. Yeah. But I think that's, that's just a general theme when it comes to, when it comes to habits. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. The, the best habits or I don't know the best habits, but it's, it's kind of like the saying of, you know, if it's, if it's easy, uh, what is the saying? Something like, you know, if it's easy, then like everyone would do it. And like, you don't, the best things don't come out of like just easy things. Eh, I don't know. Yeah. Well, okay, one thing something like that. One thing that I, I, I know what you're saying, even if you aren't saying exactly or whatever the quote is, you know, yeah. um, but like one thing I noticed when I was living in San Diego, there's a lot of people around me doing this similar things um, mm -hmm. for what I was doing. And one thing that I noticed is you think just like people who are, you know, all these people around me, they're really good people and they really wanted to do what they were doing well, but I was so surprised or one thing that I noticed, I was just kind of surprised at how many people like don't do the small things. And if you decide, okay, I'm going to do these small habitual things every day, you know, it's going to put you at an advantage over everyone else, in my opinion. And it's just as one of those things like you're like, oh yeah, waking up time, waking up early, getting a start on my day, 
um, getting to work on time every single day, you know, that's not going to make a huge difference in my life. Um, Mm -hmm. everyone's already doing it. It's not going to make a huge difference. I'm doing fine without it. But in reality, from what I found when I was living in San Diego is the answer is no, not everyone are, is doing those things. Not everyone um, puts in that effort to go that extra mile and have those to get those little tiny details right that you do every single day that just set your day off um, if you're doing them in the morning. But just like I guess everything we're saying applies if you to have a routine or habits or with, you know, at any other point in the day, by just doing those things, I feel like it puts you ahead of so many people and people don't even realize that because there are so many people who do just wake up and check their phone every day and waste 30 minutes in bed, hitting snooze and checking. Like if you could tell like the world's most successful people or just anyone, Hey, I'm going to give you an extra 30 minutes every day. That would be like, that'd be a huge difference. But you can really most, you know, you can get in it. I feel like you can get an advantage on a lot of people by just doing those small and simple things. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, I think, you know, I kind of maybe an extreme example, but, you know, say, say you're. Uh, I don't know, you're, you're competing for some kind of position or something like that, you know, the, and one, even if you're like kind of outperforming or whatever it is, like the difference between one guy and another guy could just be that, okay, you wake up earlier and because of that, you come to work on time um, every day and just that little thing, like that could be, could be the, um, I could edge you out, you know, and, um, or it people could be, really appreciate those little tiny things. Or it could just be, you know, it might not even be a direct, oh, because depending on what time of the day, you know, we've been talking a lot about morning routines, Yeah. Um, but it could be at any point of the day and just putting in that little extra effort. One, I feel like develops character and bleeds over into other areas of your life. You know, if you're, I, I, I don't have any hard evidence for this, more just anecdotal evidence from my own experience, my own personal experience that, you know, if you, if I'm like, okay, here's, here's a quick little story. Cause we're, we're hitting close to 30 minutes and I still got to get you to commit to do some habits or something like that. Um, but one thing, so the other weekend I stayed up late, I was doing something productive at night, but I stayed up late and broke my habit and stayed up late. And then I got up, it was a Saturday. I got up late. Um, and I noticed my whole day was affected by that. I got started later in the day. I didn't want to do the hard things that I had to do that day. And I procrastinated, you know, and it wasn't like a failure of a day, but it definitely wasn't the most productive day I've had, nor was it the most, I wasn't any happier. I feel like that day, either getting up later, um, and procrastinating what I needed to do for that day. So I just feel like it sets you up. It puts you in a position for success because I feel like what, what I love about habits is it just puts you in a position for success. You know, it just, it really puts you on a path. It sets you up to one, get those things done that you set out to accomplish with your, with your habits. But also at the same time, it puts you in a position to succeed with other things that you're doing from my personal experience. Yeah. Yeah. I think, uh, yeah, just doing doing all those little things like they add up to to big results eventually. Yeah. Okay. To end the episode, I think we need to get you to commit to some habits. Yeah. So, so what are you thinking? I don't know. I, I am kind of thinking about starting up what I was kind of talking about earlier again. Just uh, you know, getting up, getting getting ready, doing all that kind of stuff that I need so to do in the morning. Jumping out of bed, getting ready for the day and being on time to work. And if you have extra time, you can use that extra time. Exactly. Okay. And are you just going to go with one habit, which I think is fine because you don't want to overwhelm yourself, but, um, are there any other habits that, that you would like to, I mean, there are definitely other things. Yeah. I'm trying to think of what else I kind of want to do. Um, I mean, I definitely have wanted to do some kind of exercise, but I'm not exactly sure what that would look like or entail. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe... Uh, can, I, can I throw out some suggestions? Yeah, please. 
Okay, one thing that you talk about all the time is you're super hungry all the time because you don't eat at work <laughs> or eat in the morning. So maybe you could get into the habit of packing a lunch or eating breakfast, one of those two or both. Um, or one thing that you've been talking to me about is, you know, you want to figure out your plans for the future. And we've talked about it a little bit and I know you've made some progress there, but one thing that I might want to challenge you to do, and if obviously if you don't want to do it, don't do it, but I think it could be beneficial if you're like, okay, I'm going to sit down for 20 minutes every day and try to plan something out or think something out and just work on a plan. That's one thing that I feel like could have a big impact for you, but that's just something I'm throwing out. Yeah. And almost in a way, I kind of feel like I, I do some of those things, maybe not intentionally, or just like, you know, when we're, we're chatting whenever I kind of feel like almost those, <laughs> those, uh, those are almost kind of like uh, little planning sessions in a way, or maybe there's rants. I don't know, but, um, hmm. yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that, maybe this one could be something to come back to. Okay. Uh, so right now we're just going to commit you to doing waking up and getting things done and, or just getting going in the morning. Yeah. We'll just start off with that for now. Okay. All well, right, I and then to eventually figure that out. Okay, that's pretty sweet. I'm excited. Um, I think we had a good discussion about habits and routines, kind of using those words interchangeably. Um, mm-hmm. And I'm excited to see how how you waking up in the morning and just getting your stuff done, getting ready for the day, um, makes a difference. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I think it'll be good. All right. Thank you everyone for listening to another episode of Progression and Progress. We always are looking for feedback. So let us know what you think, how we can improve, what you liked, what you didn't like. Just let us know. And thank you for listening. Love you guys. See you later.